Hey designers, if you've been around my channel, probably you have seen a video tutorial about how to design a creative animation uh, for a button in um, Figma. And some of you asked me how to use this animation or how to use this design in the real life website. Uh, so today I want to show you how to design this button and make this animation in uh, Framer so you can add it to your website and use it. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you didn't do that yet and please like the video uh, if you like it and that will help boost it on uh, YouTube. So without further ado, let's go designing. So basically I have uh, two uh, icons ready. I used a um, hero component inside Framer so you can grab any icons from it too. And also I have a text layer. And so let's build our button. Uh, let's create a frame, press F, create a button or create a rectangle 80 by 240. And actually we'll need to copy it. So duplicate it and put one inside the other one like this. And remove the fill from the top frame. Let's actually call it a button. And this one should be called fill. And now let's add some color. Let's make it green. And let's make it with a gradient. Like so. And this one may be a little bit lighter, like that. Yep. Now let's use corner radius. Let's add 100. And now let's put these assets inside of our fill layer. Okay. Now let's create a component from this button. We select the button layer and we click create component. We use the same name button. So now we need to clean this up and uh, we select the first the check. Uh, let's actually rename it so we understand what's going on here. So it's going to be our check and this is going to be our cart. Yep, like this. And now we need to put the cart to the left of our uh, text layer. Um, you might be asking me why I'm not using uh, stacks, but that's because I need to be able to move all this stuff inside uh, without automatically laying them up. So now I move the check icon on top. So it is still inside of my layer, but inside of my uh, variant or button but it's, it's not visible currently. And now I need to just put the add to cart in the center and layer this cart icon in the center too, like so. And maybe the spacing will be about 12, right? And now we'll need to move them, make them in the center like this. Okay, now this is good. And uh, actually we need to add some um, some shadow let's add some shadow but before that we need to select over overflow visible and now we select the layer with fill and let's add some shadows and we use this green shadow let's make it green like this and like so let's add some blur about 20 and let's move it down a little bit like this and let's add another another shadow also green but a little bit different a little bit darker green and add some shadow too oh blur and this one should be a bit darker like so and let's move it down and make the blur more yeah like this Okay, so this is our button. And now I need to um, 
use the card, the check, um, the check icon, and I need to lower the opacity to zero, like that. Okay, so now what do I need to do? I need to make another variant. So I click on create a variant, and now I select the fill layer and holding option or alt, I make it smaller, exactly 80 pixels, like uh, my height. So it should be completely round. Now I select my by text and I move it to the side and it should be right outside of my main frame of the button. So I move it like this, you see, yeah, like that. So it's outside and I lower the opacity and now I select the card icon and I go to the right like this and also move it outside of my main frame. And now I select my check icon and I move it inside and actually I place it in the center of this circle. And now I add opacity. So I select one here maximum so we can see this icon. Now I select the first variant and I drag this arrow to make the interaction with the second variant. And we place on tap after delay is zero. And now we select the transition and we use 400 for the stiffness. And for dampling, I'll use about 40. So this is going to be okay, like that. And now we need to add another interaction. And here I will drag it to the first variant from the second one. And here I will use mouse leave and I'll use a delay for about one second. And for the transition, it's going to be the same. So now let's go back to home. We select our buttons over here. So it looks okay. Looks good. And now we go to preview and we click on the button to see the action. Yeah, and it goes like this. Actually, we can make it a little bit more smooth, the transition. So we go back to transition and let's make it maybe 200. And for the second variant, it should be the same, 200. And now we go to the play mode and we create it, we click on it and we see that it works pretty good. Guys, I hope you liked this video. Uh, be sure to check out the remix link in the description below. And also there you'll find the link to the Figma file uh, with the previous uh, video. So don't forget to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to my channel if you didn't do that yet. And in the comments below, please write topics or questions that you're interested in. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.